Okay, this is part two of Brain Hotel, and now we're gonna go calm the robot that sounds like Marvin the Martian. Oh, that makes me very angry. <laughs> What's up, Jack? I have a name, you know. What is it? Yeah, and? Hey, I'm a robot. What do you want? So what's the story with that botsmith, dude? I heard some big dramatic speech from my room next door. Sounded maybe like an evil scheme or something. But I reckon that guy sounds like that when he's ordering room service, too. <laughs> what? What did I say? It was an evil scheme. He planned to kill everyone in the hotel. So why are you all worked up about it? Thought you robots were all about kill the humanoids and stuff. The botsmith programmed me with emotions and morals. So not only must I carry this heavy burden, but I can also calculate its mass to 16 decimal places. 16 decimal so places? A bunch of bad guys. So what? You forget that a super villain is as viable a lifestyle choice as any other in this city. Many of the people coming to that condition are not truly evil. They're just socially awkward misfits who like dressing up in costumes. You mean it's Halloween it's already? Sort of people who attend any other kind of convention. Precisely. The botsmith has installed restraints in my software that prevent me from halting his plan. But it can be done. It can be done easily. I've worked it all out. Well, this is starting to sound like a sales pitch. Whatever you want, I ain't buying. Yeah, and why should I? What's in it for me? The satisfaction of saving your fellow man. You got anything better than that? A mechanical employee who can deliver packages five times faster than an average human and demands no monetary compensation for his ever. I'm listening. You're on. What do I need to do? We're going to need to build a jamming device. I can build this mostly out of common everyday items. I'm going to need a 9 volt battery, a cellular telephone, some plutonium, a quad C computer chip, and an airtight insulated rubber vessel in which to assemble the device. My symptoms indicate that all of these items are within this hotel someplace. Retrieve them and bring them to me, and we have a good chance of stopping the botsmith. Take this list to help you remember. I'm going to shut down to conserve energy till you get back. Great, you're going to shut down and not help me at all? Oh, there's the label Ozzy Osbourne just dropped. Got it. God, why is this bed with electricity and stuff? It's like you're rolling over on the other side to go. Oh, weirdo. You look like Cosmo from the Fairly Odd Parents. You got green hair, you fly. You wear a white shirt, you got black pants. You look exactly like Cosmo. There's your truck. That's some truck. That's some truck. That's some truck. That's a truck. That's some truck. I didn't say look at your truck. What is that? A big rotten sandwich? Um, undeliverable package. You can deliver anything. Why is that not undeliverable? Got it. Got it. I have no interest in to talking to that guy. That guy is annoying. I just had to take care of a little something. Alright, 
we're gonna go talk to that lady. How's business? We are still open. Oh my god, that's a man? Oh crap. You look familiar to me. I get that a lot. Because you're a clone? Yeah, I get it. Oops, I forgot. I have a thing. Bye. You don't want to hit on a man who wears a purple shirt, do you? Ooh, plutonium. I think I'd better ask the guy behind the bar. Yeah, I think you should. Or if it was a girl, huh? I like that bottle of liquid plutonium. I'm sorry, sir. But that bottle is reserved for the convention. There are only three registered guests who meet the radiation standards necessary to consume that beverage. Uh, what am I allowed to have? What am I allowed to have? This bar contains over 12,000 varieties of liquors and other depressants for all known body types, including extraterrestrials, cyborgs, and aliens. Aliens, aliens drink. You are authorized exactly one of these beverages. What the? Uh, that's horrible. Here, try this. What the heck was that crap? No, maybe it is crap. You know, ain't you got anything else back there I can have? Sorry, sir. You are not authorized to consume any other beverage offered here. I just drank liquid poo in a bottle. That is sick. Who sells liquid poo? Bug it. I ate too many waffles. Get me Got the it. bucket. Mung. I want to get some soda. Stuck together pennies. I want to go buy some soda. Oh crap. I broke it. I broke it. Wait, what? Oh, some guy just moved from the closet. Well, maybe I can get in there now. God, do you walk fast at all? I have no interest in you whatsoever. Um... Let's see. Ooh, axe body spray. Let's go get some axe. Got it. Yeah. Look at oh towels. Fluffy, Fluffy towels. Uh alright. Hello. Do I smell penguins? No, that must be you. Take me to the pool. Hey, I don't pee in your pool, so don't pee in my toilet. Well, thanks for telling me that. Now I'm never going to go swimming ever again. I don't swim in your toilet, so please don't whiz in my home. Let's get some... Some of that guy's pee water. Yep, a bucket of water. Impressive. Okay, that was part two, and I might have to ask this guy for the cell phone, because I just noticed that. Alright, be back soon.